In today's video, I'll be going over some of my favorite ChatGPT SEO prompts. So let's go ahead and get started. The first prompt allows you to extract keywords from any URL. So the prompt is browse this blog post, and this is where you'll enter your URL. Identify the main topic and then extract the main keywords, LSI keywords, and other important keywords needed to rank for the main keyword, frequency of use, and level of importance of that specific keyword. So let's say we wanted to get information about a blog post. I would open up that blog post, copy the URL, and I'm gonna paste it into this section on um, the prompt. So now we have the URL, and you wanna make sure that you have WebPilot or your GPT-4 plugins enabled because it wouldn't be able to work um, unless you have plugins enabled. So everything is now set up. So let's go ahead and run this prompt and take a look at the output in which we're able to get back. Okay, so we can see that WebPilot is being used. So it's going ahead and scraping that content and it's gonna give us an output based upon our prompt. So the main topic of this blog post is making money online. The article provides a comprehensive guide on various ways to earn money online. And here's the table of the main keywords, the LSI keywords and the other important keywords. So if you wanna use this prompt for yourself, I will leave um, all of the prompts in the description below this video. But as you can see here, we're getting a really nice table. We see the keyword, we see the type of um, keyword. So if it's an LSI, if it's a main keyword, we see the frequency of use. So it says multiple. Now I would like this to be a number. So I'll probably change up the prompt so that we're actually able to get a number in terms of the frequency of use so that you can know how many times you need to include that keyword within your article. And then we also have a level of importance. It will tell you how important um, those keywords are. And if you wanted to get more keywords, just go ahead and enter extract more keywords and you should be able to get more keywords based upon that blog post. Okay, so I've asked the AI to extract more keywords but include numbers for the frequency of use. And as you can see, we do get some numbers for the frequency but it stopped um, generating the level of importance. So you probably need to just combine that within the prompt. I'll create the updated prompt and I'll leave it in the description below this video if you wanna try this out. But as you can see here, you're able to get a nice table of the keywords, the type of keywords and the frequency of times in which you need to include those keywords within your articles. So this can be really helpful when you're doing competitor research and you can then take this information feed it into ChatGPT when it's creating your content so that's more SEO optimized. Now, if you need to extract the main headings and subheadings from a URL, you can use this prompt. And this is easy because we're just continuing with the same URL. So I will create another prompt if you're doing this for a new URL. But essentially, you'll ask it to use the same URL, extract the main headings, h1, h2, h3, h4, and subheadings from the blog post. So sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't work because it's not able to read the H1 or H2 tags, but you're able to get the main sections and the subheadings um, from that specific article. So you can see here that it says that it's not able to read the H1 tags, but you are able to get the main sections. So it's equivalent to the H1, the subsections, which is also equivalent to the H2, and we're getting the H3 and final thoughts, which is um, equivalent to the H1. So we can see here we are able to get a summary or a breakdown of the outline, but sometimes you're not really able to get those H1s like I would like it to be. But again, this still is useful in helping you to create your own um, outline because you can go ahead and run this for a couple of top ranked blog posts and then feed it into ChatGPT to create you an SEO optimized outline using that information. Next up here is one of my favorite prompts to use if you need to insert keywords into a blog post. So you can tell the AI that we are crafting an article on the topic and then insert the topic. For this task, we have a list of keywords that we need to incorporate naturally throughout the text. The keywords are, and then you can then go ahead and insert your keywords. Please create a comprehensive and engaging informative article that includes these keywords while maintaining a coherent and enjoyable reading experience. The goal is to enhance our on-page SEO optimization, making our content more discoverable and outranking our competitors. Keep the language simple, readable, and the information correct. So what you can do is you can actually go ahead and play around with this prompt. So you can include tonality, you can include audience, you can include anything that is specific for the article in which you're creating. But this again is really, really good because it allows you to insert keywords throughout your articles, but also not have um, the AI just kind of sound robotic or force those keywords. It allows it to um, make things sound a lot more natural. So you can try this out within your workflow. Usually I like to generate an outline and then use this when I'm generating the full blog post. So again, you can use this in the playground mode. You can use this in the ChatGPT interface, but this is really good at inserting keywords within your articles naturally. So that is a prompt that I would use if I need to insert keywords. 
Next up is another favorite prompt that I use to do SEO audits on my competitors. So if you want to do an SEO audit on a specific competitor blog post, you can use this prompt. So again, what we need to do is we need to find a blog post in which we want to do some competitive analysis on. Then we're going to tell the AI to conduct a content audit of the competitor's blog post, analyze the structure, style, tone, and keyword usage, internal and external linking, meta tags, and other SEO techniques employed. Please also note that the main Please also note the main topics, subtopics, and any unique points that they covered. From this analysis, suggest strategies and improvements that we can make in our own content to enhance our SEO and outrank them. So again, this prompt is really good because it allows you to do a competitor analysis and then get recommendations of things in which you can do for your content to outrank your competitor. Okay, so the content audit is being completed here and we have first a note on the structure. So the blog post is well structured. We have a note on the style and tone, the keyword usage, internal and external linking, meta tags, SEO techniques, main topics and subtopics, unique points. And then we have some strategies and improvements that we can use within our own content to outrank this competitor. So as you can see, this is very, very useful and you can use this for multiple URLs and you can use this prompt to really get a good grasp or insight onto your competitor blog post to see what they're doing correct. And you can replicate that and hopefully improve on your own content to help you outrank your competitors. Now, let's say you wanted to do an audit on a competitor website, not a specific URL, then you can use this prompt. So essentially it's kind of the same, but instead of pasting in a specific blog post, we're going to paste in the competitor website. So again, we can get insights that we can use to improve our own website if you want to outrank some of those top ranked websites. So again, what we can do is instead of using a SEO audit tool or paying it for an SEO audit tool, we can use this prompt. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a website. So we're going to ask the AI to conduct a comprehensive website audit of our competitor examining the strike examine the site structure, user experience, loading, mobile responsiveness, and so on. And then based upon its insights, also give us recommendations that we need to follow to outrank our competitor. So essentially the idea here is the same, but instead of doing it for a blog post, we're doing it for a complete website. And you can also do this for your own website. If you want to do an audit of your website, you can just paste your website within this prompt and you'll be able to get some recommendations for your website, some improvements that you can make to help you rank for some of the keywords that you're going after. So you can use this for competitors, but you can also use it for yourself. And again, as we see here, we get a breakdown of that website in which we paste it in. We get the site structure, user experience, loading speed, internal and external linking, SEO practices, keyword usage, and so on. We see these strengths, we see the weaknesses, and then we see the suggestions for our own websites that we can include to improve our overall on-page and off-page SEO. So those are some of my favorite SEO specific prompts. I'll also go ahead and leave a couple of other prompts that I use regularly in the description below this video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.